Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we try to see the seven segment display interface with Arduino Uno frame. The seven segment display is widely used in wave measurement in day to day life frame. So this is the one of the typical example friends. So for this project, what are the required resources we need? We try to see the first, the most important one will be the Arduino Uno friend. So I am keeping over here friend. The second, the most important one will be seven segmented display friend. So you can see the CA, you can see it over here friend. This is a common anode friend. We try to see it. And we need to have it as an embedded board. To do the connections, right? We need to have it as a set of wires, which is mail to mail. You can see it over here, friend. And we need to have it as a one 220 ohm resistor. So I am keeping over here friends. in order to get the power from the laptop and flashing. We need to have it as a USB A to B over here. This is you know RT. On my left hand side, there is a five volt. And the ground will be there, friends. On to my right hand side, you can see the pin 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, like this, the digital pins will be there, friends. So, I am taking the 1 7 segment display. So, you can see it over here, friends. So, it will be having as in 5 leads onto the top and five leads onto the bottom frames. So which is nothing but this is A, B, C, D, E, this is F, G, this is H frame. So now I am taking two and giving connection to A frame. Now I am taking as a three and giving connection to B frame. Now I am taking the four I am giving connection to C frames. Now I am taking the 5 and handovering to the D frame. Now I am taking the 6 and handovering to the E. And 7 is going to the F. And 8 is going to the G. I am not touching the H frame. Now this is the common anode. So what I am doing is this. I am taking the 220 ohm resistor. And I am giving to the 5 volt friend like this. I am giving the connection friend. So you can see I am taking the 5 volts and hand over into the here. So like this I am taking to here. Friend. So this is the a circuit diagram friend. Now let us do the connection friend. So I am taking the mini breadboard and I am keeping the I am keeping the Arduino Uno onto the one hand side. So I am keeping over here, friends. So I am taking this seven segment display. I am keeping over here, friends. You can see it. Now I need to take this cable. So first of all, I need to connect it to the A frame. So I am keeping over here. And next one is B. So I am and next one will be the C. Next one will be the D. I am keeping off here. And next one will be the E. Next one will be the F. Next one will be the G frame. So this from A to G, I have connected. Next one will be the 3. And the 3 is going on to the 4. And A is coming on to the 5. Next one will be going on to the 6. And the next one will be going on to the 7. And the last one is going on to the so here we are not considering the H frame. So now I am taking as 220 ohms. In between there is a third one will be there. So I am taking over here onto the here. And from here 
I am connecting to the 5 volts pin. So you can see it over here. And here it is the 5 volts pin. So connect it onto the here pin. Connection. Okay, you can see it over here pin. So this is 2 to 8 I have connected. And this is 5 volts. You can see it 5 volts. So like this, the connections is like this. We need to do the connections. In order to write, in order to show one uh, onto the display, so now let us uh, now let us see it over here, friend. In all this one, 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 one. This is also one. This is also one. This is zero. So which is nothing but as in three F friend. So in order to display the zero, if this work in case of an common cathode frame. In common anode, we need to revert and we need to make it as an in a port to zero frame. If we add both of these, you need to get it as an in a 7F frame. So like this, you need to write for the rest of the digit. That is nothing but the 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on frame. No IDE 2.1.0. So now here you can see the setup. So where we are making 2 to 9 digital output in the direction as an output in a setup. And now if it is comes to the loop functions where we are using the drive LEDs for a displaying the digit 0. So we are making as an 40 and the rest of the things you can see it over here friends. Now let us move to the very interesting that is drive LEDs. So now it was taking the value and in the for loop we are making each bit whether if it is high we are driving the corresponding pin as high or low frames. So this drive LEDs is the function where it was taking the value and making as a bit by bit and writing to the digital pins friends so this is the code friends now let me compile so now it is successfully compiled now we flashed here is the demo friends you can see it it is displaying 0 to 9 in a continuous manner if you like this video for more interesting updates please like share and subscribe to our channel friends Thank you for watching this video friends.